Hey everyone, Man of Interest here. You know, I really wanted to go over this uh, heavy six tonight, but uh, it's getting pretty late, so I think I'll go over it tomorrow. Tomorrow, let's go over the heavy six. I'll give you guys my thoughts and what I've been through. Um, in addition to the heavy six, we we'll also want to touch upon the bag, which is an option on the current group buy that Ryan Norbauer is running. So let's check that out tomorrow. Hey everyone, it's been a great day at work, but now I'm back and I want to talk about the Norbauer Heavy 6. Norbauer Heavy 6. I think this is a uh, pretty cool case for a pretty cool board. The Norbauer Heavy 6 is an aftermarket case for the Leopold FC660C. The one I have in front of me is a prototype with the photograph, sorry, aperture finish. He's renamed it the aperture finish, which is this beautiful beautiful gray color. So a note about my finish is it's a prototype version. The final finishes that will be shipped out are going to be not as glossy as the one I have in front of me today. They're going to be closer to what I have on my Norbitouch case. Um, so not, you know, completely matte, but not super shiny glossy like this one. So real quick, I just want to go over real quick, just the assembly. Basic assembly is really, really easy. There are 10 screws on the bottom six on top, six on bottom, two on left, two on right, and these secure the back plate with the top. Underneath is going to be two different things. First, you're going to want to undo that ribbon cable that connects the daughter board and the main PCB. So looking at the back plate, it's pretty simple. There are four screws, two standoffs, and all that assembled together allows you to mount the daughter board appropriately. On the main case, there are six screws that secure the plate and PCB onto the top housing. And technically based off this arrangement, it's a top mount, which is a uh, pretty cool, pretty unique. Although it doesn't make the biggest deal when typing day to day, but it's still a great experience uh, for this board. So after undoing those six, you have all the parts separated. There are six screws internally, 10 screws on the outside, four screws and two standoffs for the daughter board. Nice and simple construction for this board. So on the back, I have a black PVD steel plate, but of course the final version is going to be different. It's going to be a zinc, a black matte zinc finish, which is going to look very, very similar, but it's not going to be the exact same as this one I have right now. So there's going to be some minor changes. On the front of the case, we have the badge, which has Ryan Norbauer's wonderful uh, portcullis symbol, which looks extremely nice on this board. We have a very nicely recessed USB mini port from the daughter board. And of course, on top, we just have the FC660C as we know it and love it. So in my short time of use, one of the biggest things I've noticed that I hope is just in these prototype models, and I think it's just because of how super glossy this one is, is I've had issues with my feet coming off. It seems like the stickiness for these rubber pads at the bottom aren't the stickiest in terms of staying to the bottom of the board. Next, I do kind of wish that Ryan did ship me 
the riser feet. I do not have those, so I've been only using mine flat. I think I actually would have preferred to have the riser feet for this board. Um, too bad I couldn't try it out. So the issue with the feet here, interestingly enough, is there's no feet on the front because there's no space. There's only one foot on each of the back corners and four in the front towards you. But I, I, that's, in my opinion, just enough to make sure it's not gonna move around. And on top of that, it's the heavy six. It's gonna be heavy enough for you to type on, for you to game on, for you to live on without worrying too much. Except if your feet um, aren't the best, the, these rubber ball bonds aren't the best at sticking on, then that's gonna be an issue. I'm hoping it's just with this one I have that I have the issue, but it's something I've noticed. So in addition to that, it is also included in this buy is ever so popular case, the Norbauer case. Oof, this is one that a lot of people have been looking forward to for quite a while since he's been teasing it. And I'm gonna pull it out just right here. So I walked out with it this morning, walked back with it. I really like how premium this is. So let's address the elephant in this room when it comes to this case, $180. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty penny for a travel case. Um, yeah, it's definitely a lot. I mean, I can go over how amazing this badge with the steel embroidery is, how lush and wonderful the inside feels. It feels soft yet firm, not gonna rip or anything. Um, the nice leather cover on the inside zipper. Um, the zipper hardware seems really nice and solid. The side hardware for the straps is also really, really nice. Um, but it's definitely not perfect, especially for the price. And I do have, you know, there's, there's going to be the main argument, which is why not get three to four TX cases for the price of one Norbauer case. And you know what? That's a completely great argument. And if that case works better for your needs, then go for it. I'll say there's one super important main advantage that brings this case above the others. And for me, that's... The portability. The TX case is big and bulky. Um, it's probably about four times as thick as this case. Filled, it's probably twice as thick as this case, but that's not something that you're going to easily stuff into a backpack or even stuff into like a suitcase without actually having to think about the room you're going to be giving up. I'm not going to slip a TX60 case into my backpack and go about my day. I can slip this in my backpack and go about my day. That being said though, this is still $180, but it does fill that little more premium niche that the TX60 bag doesn't do. But of course there's other bags like the modern coupe bags, which are also really nice and other bad ma bag makers who make some pretty premium thin style bags. But there are tactical loops in the fronts. The hardware and straps are very unique. Although if I had to have one, one major, major minor complaints, and this is a more of a Huey personal complaint, is the strap. Okay, for the strap, the end hooks are black, which matches the black D-rings that connect to the case. Wonderful. Halfway, the adjustment strap is silver, which I'm going to take a guess and say Ryan foresaw the future in matching and match that silver with his silver badge. Personally, I think it should have been black just like the rest of the hardware. Um, but he made it silver. And for me, that kind of stands out. Maybe it's just, it's easy to look at, so it's easy to find to adjust, but most people aren't constantly adjusting their shoulder strap, as far as I know. They're setting it and leaving it. And at that point, unless it has like some kind of something cool on it, I don't want it to stay hidden on the strap. But maybe that's a personal quibble, a personal quibble. That's the case. This is the keyboard. Changed the sound quite a bit. I don't have a stock FC660C case, unfortunately, to a type of comparison before and after. But um, I'm a pretty big fan of this. I think it turned out really nicely. Um, shout out to Ryan Norbauer. This ends pretty soon, and I'd highly recommend checking it out when you get a chance. When you get a chance. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the B-roll and hear some typing sounds and stuff. Thanks for watching.